Kapust, navigating last week's fakeout today I'm going to provide an update on Friday's Kapust commentary where I called for a possible fakeout. We'll discuss key levels and targets, plus the latest on the US dollar index, DXY. Friday's close confirmed the fake out from PUST, opening up key levels like 1.2550 and potentially lower. So how is that idea going so far? We saw bulls test 1.2720 as new resistance on Tuesday, and so far, it's holding up on a daily closing basis. Whether this turns into a more significant pullback depends heavily on the DXY. Despite a mere 12% weight in calculating the dollar index, the DXY is a key driver for the pound. Federal court orders Florida man and his company to pay over $102 million in restitution and penalties for Forex fraud. Washington, D.C. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission today announced Judge Carlos E. Mendoza of the U.S. District Court for the Middle District of Florida issued a default judgment granting a permanent injunction and imposing monetary sanctions against Florida resident Avinash Singh and his company, High Rise Advantage, LLC. The order resolves a civil enforcement action the CFTC brought on September 9, 2020, against Singh, High Rise, and eight other defendants in a multi-level, multi-million dollar off-exchange foreign currency, Forex, scheme. See CFTC Press Release No. 8246-20, the case was amended on February 4, 2021 to add new facts learned about the extent of the fraud and an additional fraud charge. Feds Harker says rates should move down but not immediately. Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia President Patrick Harker said the central bank should begin to reduce interest rates, though not immediately, offering a softer pushback against widespread market expectations of early 2024 cuts than some of his peers. It's important that we start to move rates down, Harker said Wednesday in a local radio interview. We don't have to do it too fast, and we're not going to do it right away. We should hold rates where they are and start to bring rates down, he said. November's existing home sales report showed sales increased for the first time in six months and prices rose for the fifth straight month. Wall Street Journal's Dion Rabuin digs into the details of the November U.S. existing home sales report. Record high in sight for Australia stocks with rates in play. Australian stocks are heading into 2024 near an all-time high amid hopes that interest rates have peaked. The benchmark S&P slash ASX 200 index is wrapping up the year less than 2% away from its record close in August 2021 after the Federal Reserve's policy pivot this month boosted its year-to-date gain to 7.1%. Technology shares led the advance on the hype around artificial intelligence and bets that rate cuts will support growth stocks, while energy stocks languished on dwindling commodity prices. U.S. Consumer Confidence Surges by Most Since Early 2021 U.S. consumer confidence rose in December by the most since early 2021 as Americans grew more upbeat about the labor market and the inflation outlook. The conference board's index increased to 110.7 in December from a revised 101 reading in November, data published Wednesday showed. The median estimate in a Bloomberg survey of forecasters called for a 104.5 reading. A measure of expectations, which captures the outlook for about six months out, advanced as consumers saw better business conditions, incomes and labor market prospects. Expected inflation a year ahead fell to the lowest level since late 2020. Thank you. 